these are a couple of uh, no longer any good Basta dynamos. This one seized up and that's why there's a chunk of rubber missing from the drive wheel. And the other one still works but it is a bit rattly and uh, it is whining a bit loud. Um, these are uh, still current dynamos. You can still buy them uh, new from the uh, Dutch uh, AXA security company. That's the company that makes uh, all those uh, ring locks. But these dynamos are not made in uh, the Netherlands. It says here on the bottom that they are made in France. So not made in China for a change. I must say I do not get these names. The Basta Duo has only one single positive connector and should be called uh, the Uno. And the uh, Trio has two connectors, a positive one and a negative one. And logically it should be called the Basta Duo. Are they intentionally trying to be ironic? Who comes up with these uh, names? I'm planning to throw these away, but before I do, I want to have some fun with them. See if I can uh, learn something. This one, the one that seized up, it's kind of hard to turn the wheel. So, it's a goner. But I would like to find out why it seized up. And I believe I can pull this drive wheel off. Sorry for hitting the uh, tripod there. Without the uh, drive wheel I can no longer turn the uh, axle. Not enough grip, not enough leverage. Now it is relatively simple to remove the underside on this dynamo. There's not a whole lot to see on the other side here. This part you can pull out. And this little tab here is uh, for an earth connection to the frame. Now with the, uh, with the wheel gone, can I now push out yeah. the rest? And there it is. And here's the bit that I just pushed out. It's a permanent magnet that is uh, being driven by the wheel. And it is spinning in this cage. And there's a coil here. And then some magic happens. And some pixies come out underneath her. And uh, those turn on the uh, lights. It's as simple as that. Oh, and I already had a look at these uh, little plastic bearings. This one still spins, but the other one is is very tight. Yeah, I can turn it, but it takes a lot of effort. And I don't expect I can buy replacements for this because uh, like so many things in this world today this whole dynamo is just uh, a replacement part. Yeah, that's the way the world works today. And that is uh, what is going to fuck up this world. I was a bit surprised by the amount of oil in this thing. Maybe that's uh, original. Or perhaps it was done by a previous owner. I don't know. And these are all of the parts that make up a Basta Dio Dynamo. Not very exciting, huh? Let's also take apart the Basta Trio. And I think this one is a little bit different. Be Shut up, chicken. Oh, they can go on and on and on. Because of this uh, plastic cap here, it looks like there's something underneath. So, let's see if I can pull this off. 
no, that's really too tight. So I'm going to try and uh, see if I can get this plastic cap removed. And then I should be able to take off uh, the wheel. Yeah, I'll do this off camera. Or I will end up hitting the uh, tripod again. It is kind of hard to remove this uh, piece of plastic. It might be uh, molded on the uh, top of the wheel. Because it is stuck. But I do believe there is something underneath here. So it's time for a more drastic approach. So I stuck the dynamo in the vise. And it looks like I'm squeezing the wheel. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It is all for science. So I got here a wood a chisel. And now I'm going to try and see if I can get this piece of plastic removed. Too bad I cannot place the dynamo any higher because then I'm going to squeeze the body of the dynamo it doesn't look like the uh, uh, protruding part is metal because, well it doesn't feel like it and it was definitely molded on there's the axle and Looks like there was some air above the axle. And to be honest, I was expecting to find a uh, nut in here. So, cutting this off was probably not needed. And I now think I should be able to pull it off. I already crushed the uh, wheel a bit, so let's see if I can pull this out. Yeah, I almost fell there. But I got it. Mission accomplished. And it wasn't necessary to cut off that uh, plastic piece. That was a mistake. And just like the uh, Basta Duo, this uh, axle is also splined with the wheel removed. Uh, disassembling the rest should be the same as the Basta Duo. But, since we never know, let's have a look inside this one as well. Since I didn't uh, oil this one, or the other one, I'm wondering how much oil there will be in this one. Okay, this is not coming out and if it does come out I'm hitting the tripod so I'm going to try and push out the rest oh that's easy yeah also a lot of oil so that must be normal this is a bit rusty here and the uh, bearings oh, they look like metal bearings looks like the uh, bearings stayed behind in this plastic uh, housing so there's definitely a bit of a difference and the uh, top bearing here also looks like it's made from metal there's definitely some scoring on this axle I can feel something there it's not as smooth 
as it uh, should be. But still there's plenty of oil here. Look at this. It's covered in oil. I found this a bit surprising. Well I guess that's enough. I had my fun. I learned something. So like, subscribe, comment, yada yada yada. And to be continued. On the left a Basta Duo and on the right a Basta Trio. Let's see if I can make a usable dynamo from all of these parts. Uh, well that's no longer possible because I no longer have a uh, good drive wheel. But I assume that is still a uh, replaceable part. Here are both of the uh, permanent magnets and also the axles. This is the one from the Duo and it's the one with the uh, C-stop plastic bearing. But it still feels better than the one from the uh, Trio. There actually is a bit of scoring near the top here. And that's probably uh, from the, uh, the metal bearing on the top that didn't get enough lubrication. Um, that also is a small difference in the length of the uh, splines. The trio splines are just a bit longer. So for this uh, dynamo build I'm going to use the uh, axle from the uh, duo. I'm going to use the housing from the Basta Trio because it still has the, the metal uh, bearings and it works with the uh, axle and dynamo from the duo so that's good I'm going to use the coil from the duo because it isn't rusty and because of this uh, connector it means I will have to use the uh, bottom part of the duo as well and for the same reason I'm also going to uh, take the uh, mounting bracket from the duo because it looks a whole lot better and here are all the uh, parts that will make up my hybrid dynamo and I will add plenty of engine oil for lubrication. Let's reassemble this. So here it is, all back together. My Basta hybrid dynamo. Still a bit shiny from all of the oil I used. And it definitely got a bit of end play, although I did try and uh, improve it with some washers. But it spins. I'm probably not going to use this. Well, I'm going to throw this into my uh, pause bin and the other one, or the remains of the other one, I will just throw away like a normal person would do.